What's up guys, welcome to the new video and this time it's the garage grinders. Yes, they are back. For those that don't know what that is, it's actually me and my camera. And yeah, you're gonna follow me for a whole week and you're gonna see what happens in behind the scenes. And today's on the menu, we're gonna start off with building a brand new stunt bike. And for the base, we're gonna use the KTM 250 Duke and we're gonna start off with preparing the stunt tank. And for that, I call the reinforcements. Hello guys. I'm back, but with a hammer. <laughs> this is the stunt tank on my 250 Duke 2018 bike. And that's what we want to achieve on the new Duke. Test, so we see there is no really space for my butt. So we need to move the seat till here and figure out how we're gonna build a seat like that. Basically, we need to remove all the plastic, so we have a blank tank. Okay, so the plan is to smash the tank and try to create a flat surface as much as we can and if we don't like then we need to cut it away and weld a proper surface so let's see let's smash the tank a change of a plan bang the tank banging the tank <laughs> didn't work so we already mark it here we're gonna cut it away and tomorrow we'll do some welding right yes so we need to cut it. I already knew that, but I just wanted to bash it. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to disassemble it, remove the tank and uh, weld straight plate and your S shape onto it. But also there's some uh, gasoline inside. We also need to clean that before you cut it. Yes, of course, we don't want an explosion in there. Exactly. <laughs> Next thing what we're gonna try to do is to reshape the, the side walls because we need to widen the area so I can stand more wider on the tank and have more balance when I do Christ airs and yeah let's see how this goes. You see the difference now it's way wider and yeah a straight line then here is the stock shape still so now we make a way more uh, stepping surface on the tank Tomasz came up with a really sick system how to make a straight line on a crooked metal surface <laughs> he's a true macgyver in his workshop So we cut a bit extra metal so we can grind it now perfectly so it fits to the tank. And we're gonna add this tank cap, weld it in, and then the stunt tank is done. There is only just one issue. I'm sick as well, so I'm gonna go lay down in the bed. Tomorrow is gonna take over. And yeah, I'm gonna return once it's finished. So you're probably asking yourself why the heck are no holes in the tank because we have how you call those uh, rib nuts rib nuts so we're gonna add those rib nuts into the tank so we can attach later on a 3d printed lip and this lip will hold my butt on the tank while <coughs> when i will sit on it Thank you. 
looks amazing and tons of work to make a custom stunt tank. So I'm gonna head now to my workshop. We're gonna design a nice lip and we're gonna 3D print it and let's see if it's gonna work. Thank you, Tomash. I thought for a moment to just clear coat the tank to showcase the welds from Tomash. But yeah, eventually it's gonna be now powder coated in black. So let's bring it in. There we go. tank is back from the painter all black it looks almost a stock and now we are ready to build the KTM 250 Duke stunt bike 2024 man exciting time but all that in the next episode see you there rock on listen to him guys he knows <laughs>